And yes, we're back. <laughs> For more fun. For more fun. <laughs> and play. That's play, right. Play, play. <laughs> and more play. Because mostly because I can't get enough. No. Um, <laughs> so this is Sheila with Gotcha's Conversation Central. And What's the is, date? Oh, it is still... <laughs> For at least another couple hours, <laughs> Wednesday, December 27th. Okay. You best check the clock before you say still. I know, right? <laughs> I, that's why I had to check. And I've got a new one right here. I've got a new clock right here in front of me, and I keep looking over there. Do not ask me why. I don't have an answer for that. Habit? Anyway, I digress. Sorry. So... Right before we pushed record, I said, so what's next? Because I haven't figured out how to manifest out of thin air yet. And I don't like saying they won't let me play with my value. However, <laughs> at this juncture, that's what it feels like. And I don't like the idea of having to say, well, you know, because it almost feels like the little kid with their hands on their head saying, you won't let me do this. And I'm like, well, okay, but I'm a creator being, so I shouldn't be having to ask for permission to access my own value, first of all. Mm -hmm. Lisa, jump in and play. The, yes, please, Lisa, jump in and play because I'm telling you, I want to go down there to the utility company and say, uh, <laughs> so does my dad. Hello. <laughs> he's, he's ready. He's already stormed the Federal Reserve. <laughs> he, he wants, well, I've just been playing with how do I manifest without. It doesn't matter to me. I know that we don't need money, that it's it's an artificial interlooper in my personal relationships and transactions. So I have been just sort of focusing on how to play in that playground. And I'm focusing more on what it is I wish to do, be, or have, and, and go march confidently in that direction and know that the the universe is conspiring to bring that to me, that, that uh, uh, you know, the universe is me, and it is dancing, it, it, it's building the path before me. So with each step, it's, it's sliding in, just, and it's just, it's like the act of lifting my foot creates the earth underneath me, and so I don't really need an interlooper of any kind to grant me permission, to give me dollarinis, to 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 intercede on my behalf in any way, shape, or form. Right. But that's that's the the thing that's leaving because it was never real. Right. And so I'm focusing on really right now what it is that I wish to do, be, and have. And honestly, I'm not even sure. <laughs> I, I, I want to play more with, with what that is. What, what is it that I wish to experience? Because, well, like I, the story about my hair, I, I wanted to do something with the color, but I didn't have the cash. And, and, and I still don't even know how it happened, but I manifested it. And, and it, it didn't matter how, really. It was kind of interesting, but that part didn't matter. So what I learned from that experience is, all I need to focus on is, is really what I wish to experience. What I catch myself focusing on is usually something completely different. And so for right now, I'm trying to train myself to think in new ways, to think outside the box that I've got myself pretty trained to exist in. And it, it was never necessary, but especially now, not only is it not necessary, it's irrelevant. So yeah, I'm still I'm still playing with figuring out what it is that I really wish to experience, and then just sort of advancing confidently in that direction, and and knowing that I can achieve it. And the how is the fun, fascinating part because I, I don't really know yet <laughs> the how it will happen. Well, you both just did a beautiful dovetailed uh, illustration of what's next because. 
you know, when I hold up this piece of paper right now, this piece of paper is, is the text of the letter from the President uh, to the Congress of the United States about the state of emergency that the United States of America is actually under right this moment, in case nobody knew that. <laughs> um, so what's next encompasses a lot of things. If, if when one asks the question, what's next, and they're holding like they're waiting for somebody to do X, Y, and Z, then really realize that you're a creator being and you're creating the energetic frequency, which is the reality of waiting for what's next. So since you're creating it and you are that powerful, you're going to keep waiting and creating the waiting for what's next. Until you go, oh, uh, okay, I'm done with that, <laughs> you know. So this, a simple answer to what's next is to start this, and Lisa gave some beautiful illustrations of that, to step into the truth of who you are. Well, how do you do that? It depends what your perspective is. That's what I'm saying. So then, what 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 I have to do is stop uh, in my head saying, "Okay, that's all well and good, but how?" Or you know what I mean? Or and just start moving. Doing what you feel moved to do. Right. Period. And and that could be, you know feeling into a paragraph of this. Or it could be when you've had a thought and it's come by, and it's come by, and it's come by, some inspiration to do something and you go, I'm busy or I'm this or I'm tired, I want to watch TV or da 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 right? You know, catch it next time it goes around and go, huh, okay, cool. Don't say I don't have this or I don't know how to do that or I'm not good enough or no one will like it or no one will come or whatever, whatever, whatever it is, right? Just look at it purely for the part of it. You know, some people, I think a lot of people have seen the sand paintings that is made with sand that the, I think it was the Tibetan monks and others make. And they're these beautiful, gorgeous, delicious, intricate, vibrant creations. Very complex. And they're so focused and they're so jazzed. They're just playing and they're creating. And then when they're all done, Yeah. And a linear yeah. perspective is, whoa, what did you do? That was beautiful. You ruined it. No, actually didn't because I created it and I experienced it and I enjoyed it and it was magnificent and I let the creation go and it's out in the energy to recreate in different ways when it touches other beings to create it. If you really step into and really integrate and really allow your heart to open to the truth of what is you are a creator being so there are patillion and millions and infinite numbers whatever the you know the commas and zeros are of sand paintings or hairdos or this is or that's whatever it is and the how same thing there's a million hows but when we go in the languaging, because the languaging is a construct that holds the toning of the indoctrinization mm -hmm. and, the, uh, and the constructs and the false construct that is basically all but completely in rubble right now. Right. Pretty much all but completely in rubble. And the only tiny infinitesimal parts that are not in rubble right now is only because enough beings are holding it there that it's it not in, you know. And, and, and that's not even going to last anymore either. Okay? So that's what's next. And what's next is different for all the billions of beings on this planet and all the other planets. And when you come into coherence with other beings, so the three here and the others that are part of this conversation, we've, you know, at least two of us on this conversation have heard others who are in the conversation who are asking questions 
that's now you're getting a sense, Sheila, that of what I'm talking about, where the conversation is not a linear conversation. It is a multidimensional conversation. There are other people, many, many, <laughs> many, many others in this conversation right this moment, some on camera, some not, and they may describe in a linear aspect that they saw the conversation that was just recorded and posted. In fact, it's all multidimensional, so it's not, right? Okay. Yeah. So that's another what's next and there is power in that because there's directive intentional expansive creational energetic reality envelope that's why i keep referring to it as an energetic envelope that we pop open and in that we then create this and we let it go we let it fly we let it go out and the and others can go into it and create within that and expand it and so on and so forth. I'm sorry I had to laugh because you're calling it an envelope and just then I saw it as an energetic bubble and then I saw it as a balloon that you don't tie. <laughs> right. That's right. That's right. That's exactly okay. so. Yeah. Okay. That's why as, I, the visual of that was in my head. And as you're seeing it actually whether it was my thought or your thought sharing thoughts the same kind of things came to me as well. So it's all of those things. Okay. And how you hold and how you land it. So the point is what's we are what's next. We create what's next. The trajectory that we are on. Oh um delicious cosmic speed ahead is a trajectory of all of the illusion coming down, all of everything being revealed, all of everything being revealed, the balance of all of everything being revealed, and then we continue to play. Yeah, I've had a sense of, of it, of a lot, if not everything, but of a, a lot being revealed by the end of the week even. I mean, I know that sounds oh, yeah. a bit a bit soon but i for me that, no okay because i i have felt it's not soon yeah remember when we had the remember when we had the um it seems like a long time ago the solstice conference call yeah and i think it was lisa who said oh well, so i can play a little and rest and expand and i said no because something big will happen tonight and that changes everything and tomorrow you'll find that everything has changed yeah. And what happened at 12.01 a.m.? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It did. <laughs> <laughs> so that, this is what I'm referring to. So, yeah. So the, the what and the other thing, too, is um, so some of the questions coming in there. Well, I don't know how or what what do I do or how do I pull it down? Or you started where you were, you know, Lisa was talking about her father's, you know, storming the, I love it, the Federal Reserve and that kind of stuff. Yeah, 74 so, year old man. Yeah, and maybe we can go into one other paragraph in this and, and that'll give some enlightenment. Okay. Um, every time when you're, when a, a thought pops into your mind because you're letting your mind run the show instead of your heart leading how it's going and the mind being in service to it every time a little thought comes in that has that feeling of what do i do i'm little me and you know i don't have money or this and that if, if only my tdda would come through then everything would be so and i can tell you absolutely honestly right now wrong not true because because if you have not stepped in to who you are, if you haven't even a peek under the cover of who you are and started to integrate that and understand that you are love and then it's now time to be love and then it's time to stop playing small. The TDDAs, which have more commas and more zeros than you can even possibly count or imagine or write or even hold in a cognitive thought won't do you any good. Yeah. Because they only do you good because they're you. They come from you, which is the value. 
So that's what's meant in a nutshell. And how you play with, how you dance with, how you even watch the potentiality of that comes in many different ways. And it's listening, feeling, sensing, tuning into the thought, I move to do whatever it is. Don't question it. Don't argue with it. Don't second <laughs> guess it. Don't tap around it with your flip flops on, right? Just look at it and go, huh, okay. I mean, you can even do something, well, I have no idea what that meant. I don't even know how to paint polka dotted pink giraffe looking dragon sign of things, but okay, okay. And, and I'll just finish out this, this envelope, frequency envelope here by saying there have been times when the move to do for me has come in and literally been move from one side of the country to the other with two dogs, Labradors at the time, and a cat to someone who I'd never physically met and only talked to on the phone for a team that I was part of, again, virtually, and to come now and they'll meet you at the plane to go to this place where you have housing to, to do this part of what you're supposed to do in this big team at one o'clock in the morning. And I got on the plane in Boston and I flew to Seattle with 20 bucks in my pocket because that's what I had. Wow. And I got off the plane with the, with the, only precious items, the only real things that I have in the world was my two dogs and my cat. Yeah. And my ego mind said, well, bees, you really stepped in it this time, chicky baby, because it's 120 in the morning. You got 20 bucks. You got three crates right here below <laughs> for babies. And where's your ride? And what were you thinking? And I just say, thank you very much. I'm not getting in that cab. We're cool. We got this. Let's relax. And, and so it goes. So it's different for everybody. And the, how, big a, how big a your me feel move to do at the moment will depend on what you know. But when you keep asking, it's you know, all of these paths, all of these roads, all of these tools, all of these resources, all of these knowings, all of this understanding just simply unfolds right before your eyes. If you paint it into a thing of a construct of it must be a mansion when it must have 20 cars and I must have a pile of gold right here or forget it, I'm not doing it. Well, okay, then you can create that if that's what you choose. And, and because you're in that sense of not trusting and not knowing and not understanding and very constrained, and that's a box. That is, you know, maybe a, a pretty lavish, supposedly box, but it's a box you've created. Right. And creative beings don't do well creating in boxes. So you can get to that, but you've let all the other things that pass your way along the way drive by because you have decreed because you're creating nope that's it no i don't need this i don't want that no 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 because you looked at it yeah so that's what's next and you can be on a very tangible very specific very small thing to the next thing as you trust yourselves but the speed at which things are moving and the speed at which your veils are being pulled back, taken down, torn down, shredded, and the illusion and everything else is at Mach 5. I think I mentioned this on the Solstice call as well, and it's speeding up. So I told you that yeah. things were seeming fast before, and, <laughs> and that was really slow. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, we might just leave with that envelope here, and, and then we can open another one. <laughs> Okay, so so you do you think we should just stop here and then yeah, come stop back? here and then we can come back and we can go through another piece of this. I'm happy to do that, but this is a good complete thought. Okay, all right, I love that. Okay, well, and I 